Vanessa, Marketing Specialist at StructureWorks. And for the next few minutes, we're going to show you the basic installation of an attached Trex pergola on a deck using our deck mount kit. Before getting started, be sure to check the installation instructions that you receive with your order for measurements and information specific to installing your pergola. The first and possibly most important step of installing your pergola is to properly lay out the column placement. Proper column placement will help to ensure that your pergola will stand straight and look great. When using the deck mount kit, support blocking will need to be added under the deck. For detailed instructions on column installation, be sure to watch our video, Installing a Trex Pergola Column Using a Deck Mounting Kit, or Installing a Trex Pergola Column Using a Concrete Mounting Kit. Once blocking is secured under the deck, a 5 8 inch hole needs to be drilled from the top of the deck through the decking and blocking to allow the 1 half inch threaded rod to pass through. Add the aluminum base plate and then place the column leveling plate on top of the base plate. Using the four leveling studs and a torpedo level, make sure the plate is level as it will ensure that the column is plumb when installed. It's easiest to make initial adjustments by lifting the plate and turning the leveling studs by hand. However, when making final adjustments, an open end wrench works the best. Once the plate is level, tighten the leveling stud nuts to ensure each stud is secured. Then add a nut and washer to the threaded rod and tighten with a wrench to secure the plate. The column leveling plate has four small holes to allow for installation of wood screws to further prevent column leveling plate movement. Use these holes as a guide to drill through the base plate. Adding these screws will ensure that the mounting plates are tightened to the blocking and decking as much as possible. Lastly, add a half inch hex nut and then a coupler by threading it halfway onto the threaded rod. It will be used to connect the long threaded rod once we have the column set in place. Tighten the hex nut and coupler together so that the coupler won't turn when installing the long threaded rod. Now you're ready to set the column, but before you do, remember two things. You need to square the bottom of the column before setting it onto the column leveling plate. Apply painter's tape to the column for marking and to protect the surface of the column from being scratched. Also, place the base trim over the leveling plate and set the column through the base trim onto the leveling plate. Check to make sure the column is resting in the grooves of the column leveling plate. Thread the long rod into the coupler that you added near the base of the column. Once the long threaded rod is tightened into the coupler, add the capital from the top of the column and then add the top mounting plate. Since the remaining components are installed above the columns, preparation of the components on the ground will make their installation much easier when you get them in the air. Prepare the beam for installation by following the provided instructions. Measure and drill the beam for installation, as well as mark rafter placement on top of the beam. Next, prepare the rafters by installing the stainless steel rafter beam brackets to make working with the rafters easier once placed on top of the beams. Install the beam by sliding over the threaded rods or as in this case, attaching the decorative ends to the provided plates. Once the beam is seated atop the columns, add a storm load washer and two hex nuts. Be sure to tighten the hex nuts according to the instructions received with your pergola kit. Installing the ledger is next. To determine ledger mounting height, Add the installed column height plus the beam height and add any slope in the deck between the column and building. This will be the bottom of your ledger and should be marked on the side of the building. Installing the ledger securely is an important step and additional care should be taken during this step to ensure accuracy. Before attaching the ledger to the building, mark and attach the rafter beam brackets to the ledger. Also, we recommend adding a bead of 100% silicone caulk around each stainless steel lag bolt to prevent moisture from entering the ledger mounting points. Next, install the rafters by positioning them using the marks that you created and secure them to the beam and rafter brackets using the one and a half inch screws. Yeah. 
Once you've installed the rafters, the stringers are attached across the top of the rafters. Install the stringers according to the measurements on the installation drawing. Once you have secured the first stringer, you can use spacers to quickly install the remaining stringers. Now that the main structure of your pergola is erected, there are a few smaller items to be completed in order to finish the installation. If your capital does not include retaining clips to hold it in place, secure the capital with a single screw on two sides to hold it in place. And finally, drill weep holes at the lowest point of each rafter. We recommend the holes be placed to keep them hidden from sight. As you can see, installing your Nutrex pergola is easily done by following the included instructions. If you have any questions about your pergola installation, please visit our website or call Trex Pergola at 888-908-4965.